Lonnie Quinn standing by with the potential for more stormy weather and extreme heat in your weekend forecast. But we begin with Allie Bauman in Dutchess County with more on that terrifying lightning strike. What may have made this storm so dangerous was the little rain that proceeded. So when lightning came quickly and struck this tree right here, the five people sitting below never had a chance to find cover. They were blue, like, like the sky blue, you know, it was crazy. Unresponsive on the bench and under the tree is how first responders found five people in Mansion Square Park around 4 p.m. on Friday. There was actually smoke coming off one of the guys, actually, you know, one of the guys that was laid out. He was alive, though, but like you could see, like, like he, he was smoking. His pants, his clothes were smoking. All all five victims were taken to the hospital, three with life threatening injuries. Among them, 46 year old Franklin McKeel. We spoke to his sister, who says doctors told her McKeel's heart stopped beating for 30 minutes after he was struck. She had been walking by the park just after he was rushed to the hospital. I saw his book bag on the officer's car. So I asked him to look in it, and sure enough, it was my brother's book bag. In this photo, you can see some of the 30 firefighters and paramedics performing CPR, including fireman Nick Bucker. It was a little intimidating because there were still some flashes of lightning and thunder booms going. The Poughkeepsie mayor says he has never seen an accident like this. It's just a reminder of the power of these storms. And uh, you have to be cautious and, and diligent and really be aware of your surroundings. We do not yet know the names of those four other victims. Authorities tell us it was a total of four men and one woman between the ages of 44 and 56. We're in Poughkeepsie, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Now we turn to